Here's Darren Wong, consultant with Karen Business Solutions. Did you know there are three ways you can access Sage 300? When you're in the office, you may prefer the traditional classic folder structure. In this view, there are folders for each principal activity, and then within Accounts Payable, for example, you will find icons for all of the functions that you are used to. So if I have invoices from a vendor, I can click on this icon, and then this one, and then click here to create a new batch where I enter the necessary information. The second way to interact with Sage 300 is to use what we call Visual Process Flows, which is an included part of the program. It lets me customize the interface to suit the way I think of my transactions. In this example, when I click on Accounts Payable Transactions, as you can see, the view is more of a flow. I might enter a vendor invoice, check on a payment, and then print the appropriate report. If I click on Transaction Reports and Batch List, for example, I will be presented with the same printing options here that I have in the classical view. The third way to interact with Sage 300 is by using web pages. I open my browser, enter my regular user ID and password, and I can immediately begin work. As long as I have internet access for my browser and web screens are set up, I can leave for a ski vacation, work for a couple of hours in the hotel room, and then hit the slopes. In web screens, I can go to Accounts Payable, click on Invoice Batch List, and see the same screens and information I worked with back at the office. The screens look a bit different, but the information is exactly the same. Still not sure which approach is best for you? Contact us or reach out directly to Darren Wong. So now you know.